Hey guys, here are the five trends I saw at the Intratech Insights this year. Number one, business instead of collaboration. I had the impression that there was an exhaustion of the innovation managers at large carriers. One unnamed senior decision makers at a large insurance company in Europe said, well, the times in which we invited every single hoodie wearing startup to chat and to think about the corporations are over. Actually now it's about doing business together and we only invite people in which we see also an imminent business value. So the romantic face of incumbents and startups, I think slowly but surely is over and now it's all about real business. And that's why I think collaboration is over and business starts now. Number two, a second wave of incumbents entering the international stage. What I see now is that I see more and more smaller and mid-sized players and only regional players actually attending these events. Um, so it's not only the big shots there or the super innovative, but slowly and surely you have also smaller players there that you have not seen around uh, in the last two or three years. So we, I have the impression there's a second wave of incumbents opening up. But what does it mean? I believe this means that slowly but surely the window of opportunity to have an advantage uh, in using the white spot of innovation in the insurance industry is closing because also smaller and slower players are now catching up. It's not all of them, some, but that's the second trend I saw. Number three, I see the death and birth of insurance products. We see more and more debates and use cases about hyper-personalized insurance products, the death of the insurance collective. We see the death of the application form, a lot of online pre-filled forms or actually data-based application processes. We see also the death of the annual uh, premium, right now only limited to the gig economy, but sooner or later we'll see that too. We see also traditional player getting rid of the annual premium and having like a monthly termination period. So the stability of the insurance industry when it comes to the uh, products and long-running premium models, I think in the PNC side especially, uh, are coming to an end. Number four. The first thing I saw at Intratech Insight is actually um, that a lot of people are trying to move from providing risk coverage and insurance products to actually services, value adding services to the customer. And that's going to be really exciting to see who actually is able to pull this off and to expand the value chain. Number five. I see IoT surely as a trend. Some insurers are very exciting, having labs and working already on certain models, hiring people and building up teams, others are ignoring completely. One representative of an incumbent actually made fun about IoT and said, well, it's only cheap sensors talking to each other. The cell phone is actually also only cheap CPU and cheap memory power talking to each other and look where that got you. Related with IoT of course is 5G. 5G slowly and emerges to the most underestimated trend. The nerds in the insurance industry I think are already addressing this, knowing that it's already very hard to provide digital products and services in the world of 4G. Now 5G is coming and, and I think this is something we will see in having a tremendous effect on the customer behavior and change of customer behavior and it's going even to accelerate that what we see in different customer segments already now. These were the five things I saw at Intratech Insights. Thank you very much for listening and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.